One of the great things about water locks is the ease of application. This is really a hardening oil. It's not really a, a, a typical traditional varnish or what you call a coating. It's a hardening oil. But we do need to apply it to the surface so it can soak into the wood and we've got four coats. Now, you have a lot of choices of how to apply this. Number one, if you have the ability to spray, if your contractor has the ability to spray, that's always a nice way to go. Um, but there's always the spray implications are we have to protect all the metal, we have to protect all the other areas, um, and we always still have to back brush. So for this particular job, we did spray um, and then use brushes to smooth it out, brush it out. It gets in the cracks here. Uh, we want to push it back in the cracks. And we also have a lamb's wool applicator. Now, if you were not spraying, the typical application would be a lamb's wool applicator. This is the Wooster. Um, we sell these on our website. We sell all these tools that you can acquire. Um, but I, I think the most important thing is these angled adapters. It seems like a simple tool, but what this allows us to do is work from the ground, one person with the applicator to apply, one person to brush out. Now again, if you have a sprayer, you don't need the applicator. But if you were, you, if you were doing it yourself and we wanted to use the applicator, this will allow you to work with it at an angle the way I have this adjusted, this is adjustable. We also have the quick tip uh, wooster, so I can snap that on. Now again, if this was just a straight pole and this was straight out, we would have to be straight on the wall. This allows us to do, with this angled adapter, allows us to do everything from the ground. And again, this is a nice feature of the wooster. You can just snap these together and then we can go and we would simply dip our applicator and we just walk this across, dip our applicator again and walk this across. Now, even with the applicator, I think it should be followed with a paintbrush. So again, we can apply, we can use our brush on the pole. So applicator, brush, brush. So you might want to do the applicator and about five minutes later come back with the brush. And again, we have this on the shelf pole. So even if we're down low working, it would simply be applying. And boy, one of these, one of these is going to carry a lot of material. And so some of that material is going to run down. So we always want to start at the top with the applicator. And then we just follow with the brush. No directional, but we just want to make sure we touch very uniform. So one board at a time in an organized fashion. But you can see where the sprayer is going to be a huge advantage if you have that skill and ability and you're able to cover and protect all the various surfaces.